it is it should be telangana centric but this is an opportunity because it's a new state <clears throat> and luckily mandate is given to a party and a leader who has led the movement for 14 years whatever you may say so it's an opportunity to, to revisit every of our action every of our program is Telangana centric or not. Now, we should not lose this opportunity. And there is another opportunity at Modi's government. Very interesting. This you must note as academics that Modi, against the wishes of many intellectuals, has abolished planning. Planning Commission was needed in 1950s where the, our thinking was that a different way, Nehru needed planning commission, planning commission done its job but it's outlived. Now they have abolished and they have brought out this Niti Aayog, the policy institute, national institute policy of transformation of India. Now this transformation of India in which chief ministers are part, prime minister heads the governing council and chief ministers are members. Now chief Prime Minister's thinking in the first meeting, it was very clear that the states need to reinvent themselves. States need to policy. One policy in Delhi will not fit in Assam, Mizoram, Gujarat, and Andhra Pradesh. So now that monolithic policies are going to go, and it's a big opportunity for Telangana. A whole state like Rajasthan may not have this opportunity to reinvent itself. But while what is transforming in India, apart from we are a new state, that because of the Niti Aayog and the Prime Minister's special belief, being a Chief Minister himself for three times, that the state should invent, state should come with its own programs and policies. And most probably, that the whole distinction of plan and non-plan will disappear in two years. So everything else will be planned by the state government. Everything else will be in the years to come everything else will be initiated by the states. So the next two financial years are the only two years where they, there will be a transitional years. So, in this process of reinvention, academics, please open your mind. You come with brilliant ideas how we reinvent our programs, our policies. It's an opportunity and government is open to discuss these issues. Now I start with Janardhan Rao's, I learned one fact today is that Nilu Nidulu Niyamakalu as a source of her, what is the foundation of the Telangana movement. So, I start with the Janardhan's dream of Nilu. So, how do we reinvent ourselves in the area of water? This is the first major policy initiative government is taking on water. In water, <coughs> we are restored with the two major rivers, Godavari and Krishna, apart from other small rivers and river lakes and streams. In these two major rivers, there is X amount of water, around 1200 TMC of water, which is to the tribunals and various government addresses eligible for Telangana. 900 TFC in Godavari and about 300 in Krishna. But what is important is, before I go to that, reverse and major and minor, uh, medium and major irrigation, why do you have to worry about water? Water is a major important issue between Telangana education. Because water in these two rivers, because geographically we were at a place and the rulers as such were there. They neglected this region using the water in this region and obviously the projects were designed in such a way, now it is no point to blame but they, most of the water was used in coastal water. Now we have, we don't have to blame any further. So we have this set of projects which are designed for Telangana, which, is, which are under review, which will take care. But leaving that aside, 
I would say the first major thing, the government has taken a decision and it is a policy decision to first restore all the tanks, chain tanks, of the tanks of Kakatiya tanks, thousand year old tanks in all our villages. Now why chain tanks first? Because water falls in the plateau and goes into the rivers. And when it goes into the rivers, while it is going to the sea, you want to lift it back because we are at a higher altitude all over, except few places where we, are, we can build projects where it can go on the gradual inclination. But most places, so water falls on the plateau, goes into the rivers, and then rivers you lift. That's the reason Kakathias have built to store the water in these tanks, beautiful tanks, one connected with the other. So now what is our first priority in the reinvention of Telangana water system? Is to first protect to see that the water falling in the Dagan plateau is restored as much as possible in the tanks. Don't let that water go into the river, first of all. If you let it go into the river, then you have to lift it. So the amount of water estimated to be in Telangana tanks are around 265 TMC. 90 TMC in Krishna basin and 175 TMC in Godavari basin. Now these 265, out of these 265 TMC, people estimate that not even 50 to 100 TMC that are used now. These figures are given by British Kumar, various tribunals. And now our plan, KCR's idea is to restore these water so that it is not only 260, he says it can go up to 400 TMC. Let us see. So that means the first is to restore your water in your own tanks. This is the first major approach. You must have seen, I have been in my village as four or five water tanks, one connected to the other. We haven't seen a major restoration in 50 years. But this year one of those five tanks will be restored. So the restoration, the major policy shift is first let us restore, let us store our water See. to the extent that if there is a big rain, that if our tanks are properly restored, we may even have the water to the next year, if it is a big tank. Now, we have 46,531 tanks so far discovered by the irrigation department. Earlier this account was not there. Somebody was saying 20, somebody was saying 30, somebody was saying, but we put everybody on the job and now there are 45,000, 46,530 tanks are there, which will be repaired in the five years. Repaired, renovated, restored, out of which 20%, around 9,000 tanks with about 4,000 crore tank uh, budget will be taken up in this summer itself. So this is a major shift in water policy. And this kind of, the restoration will cover, the physical features of this restoration would be desiltation of the tank bed, repair of the bunt, repair of the sluices, repair of the sluice where the mother, improvement of the drainage, coming into the tank and installing some new instrumentation to measure the water and test the water. Now what will it benefit? It will expand the eye cut. It will have a better irrigation. First of all, it will improve the water table. Telangana is, the water bores are the last two decades so much. But today, an estimate says 20 lakh bore wells are there in the Telangana state for irrigation alone. And if you improve the fishery, if you improve the livestock, and it saves the power because we are spending so much of power on the, uh, on the, on the bore wells, which will, if the tanks are restored, if the irrigation is calculated, it will be restored. On overall estimate, there are about 18 lakh acres will be covered but 9 lakh farmers will be benefited in the 9 districts apart from other districts. So this is a major policy 
and the funds we are mobilizing, they already put 2,000 crores in the budget of the Telangana government. NABAD is giving some money, government of India will give some money, some external borrowings. The overall, but this project has become a top priority on what a what Telangana uh, movement tag was there to restore our water. Now, what do we do with the so called Jalayagram medium and major irrigation? They are under review, and Chief Minister is quite an expert on this. For 14 years, he was sitting with various retired engineers and discussing every project. There are large investments in these products already, so we cannot totally abandon them. So the, the reviews are going, but we don't have as much clarity as we have on the tanks. So we are going step one, to restore our water in our tanks. Then go into the river and see the existing projects. Whether it is Pranayatya Chevala or Devadala, we will not leave them because it's our assets. They are budded. There are some of them are good, some of them are bad. Maybe the, you will change the model, you will change the designs. But there is a lot of discussion, a lot of trust will be there as, the, as we move on. So, medium and major irrigation, I would not like to really say in detail. But only thing is that we will ensure our policy will be in the direction. Our policy is in the direction to use 900 TMC in Godavari. 300 TMC in Krishna over a period of time. How best we use, how we will use is the question too. But this is what the erstwhile rulers have not concentrated upon. That every drop of water which we are eligible will be used more efficient way. So for which the discussions are going on but we will be evolving without completely any disbanding of the old projects. Conceiving the new projects and renew it and reinventing the old projects, the things will move.